All right, welcome to the Vulcan Vlogs 2, and my wig is crooked, whoops. Ooh, okay, just got out of the shower, and I'm currently writing script. It's my first video, and it's basically gonna break down which, uh, you know, which franchise has the better characters. You know, I'm gonna start with that, because that's what every story is, is built upon. S characters, story, character development, story arcs, things like that. And then I'll go into the real specifics of the franchises, you know, like which ships are better, which weapons are better, things like that. So, so far, what I have written, I'll just go over it and, you know, I'll come up with ideas as I'm filming this as well. First question I ask is, when I say Star Wars, who comes to mind? You know, it should be obvious. You should immediately name some characters. Um, and then same goes for when I say Star Trek, who comes to mind? And also, as I'm writing, writing this script, um, I'm, I'm also writing how I can film it, like some, some camera tricks, some photography tricks, things like that. Hopefully it goes as the way I'm imagining it. Um, and then, so far in the number two, I'm writing about, you know, both, because both franchises are built on character development, um, based on the amount of material that exists where the, these characters have had screen time, which franchise has had more time to develop these characters? My biggest part of me is leaning towards Star Trek because um, obviously, you know, there's there's tons of Star Trek shows and each each season, each show, at least in the 90s, lasted seven seasons each. You had seven seasons, 26 episodes per season of Next Generation, Star Trek Voyager, and Deep Space Nine. It was very rare for a continuing sci-fi franchise to branch off that many different times to last as many years as it did. You know, I guess Doctor Who would be the only exception, but so far, the two casts that I'm including in this uh, video for Star Trek-wise would be the original series, Captain Kirk, uh, Spock, all those people, and then uh, Next Generation, um, Patrick Stewart, Captain Picard, Will Riker, his whole crew. So so far, what I've what I've established for the original series, uh, it only lasted three seasons, just because it came out in the '60s when um, hell there wasn't much anything on television, and they were definitely breaking down the boundaries of racial segregation. They had, I believe, when Uhura kissed James Kirk, that was one of the first interracial kisses ever on television. A huge milestone. So I'm very, I love that fact about Star Trek itself. And for everything else it's about, it wasn't, Gene Roddenberry wasn't afraid to, to do, to break the boundaries of social norms. So, but anyway, so the original series, you comprised of, you know, Kirk, Spock, Sulu, Chekhov, Scotty, Uhura, and I think that's it, yes. That was your main bulk crew who stuck with the franchise till the very end, till they basically died. And so they had three seasons in the very beginning of the Star Trek's existence. Then they, they went on to make six movies that's definitely a lot of character development time for the characters to flesh themselves out. And then, I, and then I also started writing down examples of when the last time we ever saw these characters on the screen representing their Star Trek roles. In fact, I need to write the last one down. Uh, Kirk, Generations. So the, the Star Trek movie Generations, which is a debatable movie, that was the last time we ever saw Chekhov and Kirk on the screens. Um, Spock was the was the last was the latest character we ever saw in the Star Trek universe come back. He was he was he was one of the main characters in the two thousand nine Star Trek movie, and then he made a cameo in Into Darkness. Um, and then uh, Scotty and Bones. Um, wait, I think be a Bones. I don't know if I said that he was one of the characters. Yeah, so he's the doctor, Dr. Bones. Um, 
They both made appearances on Star Trek Next Generation. Scotty was in a whole episode. Uh, actually, Bones was in the very first pilot episode, which was pretty cool. And then obviously, when you have when you talk about the Next Generation, Captain Picard, William Riker. So let, let's go. Let's, let's run down the crew. You had Captain Picard, Commander Riker, Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge, Lieutenant Commander Data, Lieutenant Worf, uh, Counselor Troy. And uh, Dr. Uh, Crusher, Beverly Crusher. So that was like, um, that was Picard's main crew. I guess you could, you could advertise, you could argument um, Ta Tasha Yar, but she died like the second season. So, and she kind of made a weird appearance come back in the show. But, oh, I am really going to depth with this. I haven't even scratched the surface. Maybe I should save this material for... The video but um, I just want to give you all a heads up of just how in depth how much material you can go off of from the Star Trek Star Trek itself I haven't, just haven't gotten in Star Wars yet but with the next generation crew you had seven seasons 26 episodes each and then the four movies they made um, generations I'll, I'll, I'll save the titles for the when I do the actual video and then the new show is just called Picard haven't seen it yet. Don't don't plan on ever getting CBS streaming service anytime soon. I think it's so dumb. That's the only way you can watch the new Star Trek shows like uh, Discovery and Picard. Um, and I heard a lot of mixed things about Picard. But but regardless, he, when nobody had seen uh, Captain Picard on screen in, until like the Star Trek nemesis that got off of last movie they made Whew. okay so i'll go into more detail about some major plot points the major story arcs in the in the show that read of that re redefined these characters in my opinion how they changed how they developed uh star wars you know obviously there's three trilogies with two spin-off movies um, you know, because there's not really a central team working together. It's just like the Alliance, you know, the Rebellion versus the Empire. That's a whole nother part we'll talk about. So yeah, let me, let me write that down. Number three, uh, we'll talk about, I was thinking about the, the philosophies of the of the franchises, how do you spell philosophy? Uh, PH philosoph philosophy, damn. God, I'm so dyslexic, whatever. I, I know what I'm writing down. Philosophies of each franchise. And honestly, so when I say philosophies, I don't mean, I'm not gonna go into full detail about, well, I guess I will, the Jedi and the Sith, things like that, but I guess I'm really talking about, uh, what, am I, what, what, what am I thinking about? God damn, this is harder than I thought. Um, I guess the philosophies would be, um, oh my God, I'm having a blank. Well, anyway, I think I'll stop it here. I'm, I'm going on nine minutes with this vlog. Uh, I don't want to bore you all to death. Uh, rest assured, my um, production value will be a lot, hopefully a lot better when I film the, my, my first video, first real video. Uh, hopefully I don't get copyrighted because I want to play some relevant music. I would love to play the the cantina. <laughs> love to play that in the background. I don't think George Lucas would like that or John Williams. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to experiment, see what I can get away with. Hopefully I don't just get banned immediately. But um, yeah, so... Thanks y'all for watching. And I'm so sorry if my eyes keep going to this because I'm so just used to seeing myself. I'm filming on an iPhone, so I don't have the luxury of a nice camera with a flip screen. So let's catch y'all later.